Today on Jimbo Vision, The Revenant. Huh. The Revenant, from its rather obscure title onwards, this is not your average movie. Directed by Alejandro Inarritu, this is an authentically austere account of frontiersmen and fur trappers, one of whom, a chap called Hugh Glass, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, gets attacked by a bear and then abandoned by his companions. Remarkably, he then goes from bear food to bear grills, managing to survive despite his serious injuries alone in the icy wilderness. Now, the film is very long, over two and a half hours indeed. Much of the dialogue is completely impenetrable. I'm not doing a very good job selling this, am I? And unlike that other recent film about a man left behind in impossible conditions, The Martian, there are absolutely no laughs in it. What it is, however, is magnificent. Now, Inarito's last movie was Birdman, a rococo and rather self-satisfied piece of artistic navel-gazing. The contrast with this movie couldn't be bigger. Here, the director ditches pretty much all the tricks, filming this two-and-a-half-hour epic in wildly inhospitable locations, using only natural light and as much in sequence as possible. As a result, the shoot ran wildly over, various crew members defected, half the equipment froze, and they had to travel all the way down to Argentina to find a place with enough snow. It's pretty amazing they made any kind of movie let alone one as drop-dead gorgeous as this. At the sharp end of all of this is the increasingly shattered glass, and DiCaprio's commitment to this role is pretty extraordinary. The actor slammed, dunked, fed raw fish and bison liver, sent off a cliff on a horse, forced to sleep inside said horse to stay warm, and then dunked again as he makes his way inland. Hey, an inland revenant. On top of all of which, the director then shows him in full close-up with a bear behind. DiCaprio's performance is heavy on the wild-eyed and grunting, but then this isn't really a role for much nuance. Alongside him in the cast is the young English actor Will Poulter as a trapper, Dom Hall Gleeson again, this month he's playing the leader of the ill-fated expedition, Captain Andrew Henry, and Tom Hardy, who takes his unique approach to dialogue to new heights here, making Bane indeed sound like a Radio 4 announcer. We all see it, I see it a lot of applause now, so I ought to be God. Hmm. Tom there confusing a backwoodsman talking with a man talking backwards. Biggest star of the movie, though, and the one I'm kind of itching to see again, is the scenery. The bits that Tom hasn't chewed up, of course. Uh, Inarito and his director of photography, Emmanuel Lubezki, uh, present us with a landscape that's both mystic and merciless and makes this movie, for me, a bit of a must-see. Lubezki, who's already a double Oscar winner, has talked in the past of how the language of cinema for him is closer to music than theatre. And certainly compared to, say, the Hateful Eight straighter narrative, this feels a little bit more like a symphony. It's not for everyone, only the fly people, and it's certainly to be avoided if you're in a hurry. But for me, this tale of revenge served very cold. This frozen story, in which DiCaprio absolutely will not let it go, is a winner. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. What a year we're having. Thank you.